In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a portfolio website using Canva. This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial that is going to help you a lot if you are a content creator, an artist, or you're just looking for a way to showcase your work, but you don't have any coding skills. It doesn't matter if you're a photographer, a graphic designer, an artist, whatever it is, I'm going to teach you exactly how to build a really professional portfolio website that is only going to take you about 20 minutes to me. By the end of this video, you're going to have a very professional portfolio website that you can send to potential clients and hopefully help you increase your sales. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the video. So as you know, today we are going to be using Canva. Canva is one of the best tools that you can use to design, create, or generate anything that you need for your work or for your business. As you can see, there are many different things that we can create with Canva, including posters, logos, whiteboards, social media graphic designs, and of course, what we are going to be doing today, which is a website. As you can see, you can create, you can launch, and you can even track your website using Canva. Another cool thing that you can do is that you can track your traffic insights. That means that you can even see analytics from your own website. You can even build and run your website for free with flexible domain options. And if you have a team, you can also collaborate with your team. I'm going to go ahead and click on start designing. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys the link to Canva down below. I'm going to be using Canva Pro because I will have access to so many different features like background remover, also premium content. Like you are going to see so many more templates, photos, videos, and graphics if you have Canva Pro. Before we start, I'm going to quickly show you my own portfolio website so you guys have a clear idea of what we're going to be making on today's video. It's very important that your portfolio website reflects who you are, what you like to do, what you want to showcase on your work, and that's going to make you stand out and make brands want to work with you more. This is my UGC portfolio website. As you can see, I have different information about me and also videos that I have filmed and made for different brands. Of course, I also include some of my analytics because that's important information that some brands look for, especially in this specific industry. But of course, it's all going to depend on what you do, who you are, and what you want to reflect on your portfolio website. So after you create your account with Canva Pro, go ahead and open it. Then what you're going to do is type on the search bar portfolio website. And as you can see, Canva Pro is going to show us thousands of different templates that we can use. This is amazing because you're able able to pick a template that kind of reflects who you are, what you like, and of course, what we're going to go ahead and do is to make it our own. I'm going to see all the portfolio website templates and I'm going to choose my favorite so we can start from scratch. Okay, so I found this template that I really like. I'm going to go ahead and click on customize this template. In case you guys want to check it out, this is the name of the portfolio website that I'm seeing. This is the name of the template. So I'm going to go ahead and click on customize this template. So the first First thing that I like to do is to simply scroll down all the way to the bottom, see exactly how the portfolio website looks and kind of get a, an idea of how I can make this my own and if it works for my brand and what I'm trying to do. So as you can see right here at the top, this is a template for someone that is an artist that creates different types of media content. So I like it. I think it's a great way to kind of make my own portfolio website a little bit more modern. So let's start customizing this template. So the first thing that I like to do is, of course, start all the way from the top. I don't like to start from the middle or from the very end because I think the inspiration starts to build once you figure out the first page of your website. So the first thing I'm going to do is to remove the image. This background right here, all you have to do to delete a background picture in Canva is to click on it and simply delete it. Now, what I'm going to do is upload a picture of myself and I'm going to use it as my background picture. But first, I'm going to start editing all these little things that are around this template. So they say my name and not someone else's name. So I'm going to delete this right here. I'm going to type in my name and then I'm going to delete this right here and put whatever it is that I do. For example, UGC content. I can leave this right here because it is a portfolio website. I'm going to go ahead and delete this multimedia artist by simply clicking on it and deleting it. And I'm going to 
make this a little bit longer. I don't like how it breaks into two, so I'm just gonna make it longer by dragging out the corner of this text right here. So now that this has my information, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is upload a picture of myself so I know exactly where I want the text to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a picture of myself working. I already have this picture uploaded into Canva, but if you wanna upload a picture from scratch, all that you have to do is to simply click on uploads. Then you're gonna click on upload files, and now you can select the picture or the video that you wish to upload from your computer. Now that I have my picture, I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna click on replace background right here at the bottom. I like how this picture works, but I want you to be able to see the bottom of my picture. So I'm gonna double click on it, and I'm gonna bring the screen up a little bit so I'm able to focus on me a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and move this little button that you see right here to the left because I actually want you to be able to see my camera since of course it goes with the topic of being a content creator. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right there and I'm gonna bring up the picture a little bit more. Now the first page of our portfolio website is done. As you can see, the first page is kind of what brings the vibe to the rest of the portfolio website. So I'm just gonna continue scrolling down and customizing this template. So I actually consider the second page of your portfolio website to be the most important page of your whole website. Why? Because it's exactly where you're going to start talking about yourself, who you are, what you do, and how you can do it for other businesses. So for example, I created this small little paragraph. It's kind of like an elevator speech of who I am and what I have been doing in the past few years and how I can help other brands to do the same through my work. So the first thing I did, of course, was to introduce myself. As you can see right here at the top, I just added a small piece of text that says, hi, I'm Mar. You can go ahead and make that your own. You can say hello or whatever it is that sounds like you. So go ahead and create your small elevator speech, add it to the second page of your portfolio website. And if you want to make it better, you can even use Canva AI. You can click on this little magic right pencil, and this is going to transform your text and make it better. So I'm going to say something like make it more engaging for brands. So I added that prompt. I'm going to submit it and see how Canva can help me make this even better. Canva AI is one of the coolest features that Canva Pro has. I love it. I use it for everything I write in Canva. I like the text that it created. I think, of course, is a little bit better than mine. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on replace it. And you can do that with your own as well. And if you don't have a text, you can even ask Canva AI to do it for you. So it's amazing. Go ahead and try it out. I'm going to remove all these little pictures that don't go with my portfolio website. And I'm just going to add pictures of myself. You can even add pictures of your own at the beginning of this page if that's something that you want to do or just pictures of things that you like. Remember that you can customize a template. You can change the fonts, the colors. You really don't have to follow along with the template. For example, I like this font, but I maybe want to change it to something better. To change the font of your text, go ahead and select it. And right here at the top, you're able to see so many different options that you can use as a font for your portfolio website. I'm going to make the text a little bit smaller, and then I'm going to make it large by dragging out the corners. So I just showed you exactly how to create the two most important parts of your own portfolio website. Now, all that you simply have to do is to start adding in some of your work. You can include videos that you have made, maybe past graphic design posts that you created, anything that you want to showcase on your portfolio website, start adding it to the template so people can actually go into your website and see some of your work. I already showed you guys how to upload pictures on Canva. All that you have to do is to click on the uploads button and you're able to not only upload images, but you can also upload videos. So you can use this example if you are a content creator or an UGC creator. What I like to do on my own website is to add my work in a way that is easy to see and to understand. So all that I did here was to upload a video that I made for a brand. I'm going to show you guys an example. This is a video of me talking about these shoes. It did really great on TikTok. As you can see, the metrics and the analytics of the video were really great. So I just added a screenshot of what TikTok gave me. I added 
added it to my portfolio website, of course, the video. So people were able to see what I was talking about in the video and how it helped this brand, of course, sell more shoes and be more engaging on social media. So just go ahead and do this with the work that you have. It doesn't matter if it's a lot of work, if you had amazing numbers or not. A portfolio website is simply a way to show your work and to show yourself to the world. I'm going to change the color of the background of this one right here because I just want it to be a little bit more colorful. To change the color, all that I did was to click on the background and select a color that I like. So after you finish uploading all your content, all your videos, all of your work, now it's time to close the deal. Now it's time to make the last section of your website. This is exactly where you want to add all your information, like your phone number, your email, and how brands that are interested in your work can actually get in touch with you. So for example, I like this right here. Let's collaborate. I think it's a great catchy phrase that we can use. I'm going to leave it like it is. I'm going to change, of course, the picture. Let me try to find a different picture of myself. So I just edited this right here, added a different picture of myself, and I just went along with the template and used the little double image that you see right here. So key things that you should have on your portfolio website if you create content is your social media pages. And there's actually a way for you to add a link to your Instagram account or your TikTok or your YouTube channel on your portfolio website. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is to click on elements right here on the left. And I'm going to search for TikTok icon, then select whichever icon that you like. I like this one. I think it's simple. So I'm just going to make it smaller and put it right next to my email like so. Once you have the icon ready, all that you have to do is to click on more and you're going to select link here. You're going to paste the link to your TikTok page or your YouTube channel or your email, whatever it is, paste it right there and then click on done. This will automatically create a button for your TikTok app. So whenever we publish this website, people can actually click on this icon and they will go directly to your TikTok page. Remember to add your phone number, your email. You can also do the same thing with this little button right here. You can add maybe your email or your phone number to it by doing what I just showed you. You can click on it and then you can select edit link and you can add the link that you want to add. It could be Instagram. It can even be Facebook, YouTube, whatever it is that you need. The best way to reach you, maybe if you have a manager, you can also add their email to make contacting you more easy. So whenever you're done, now that we have our portfolio website, let's preview it very quickly. I'm going to present it in full for you guys so you can see it better. And this is kind of how your portfolio website is going to look once we go live. To publish it, all that you have to do is first, let's go ahead and change the name. So I'm going to click right here at the top and give this a different name. So add the name, whatever it is, how you want to save it. And now we're going to click on preview. So this is going to be exactly how your website is going to look. I really like it. I think we did a great job. I enjoy the colors. I think the information is clear. And most importantly, we have my information and where people can contact us. You can also preview it on phone. So just simply click on mobile to see how it's going to look if someone sees it on their phone and not their computer. If you like the final result, all that you have to do is to click on publish website. It's going to give you your site URL in case you want to edit it. You can click on this pencil right here and add something different. It gave me this name because as I showed you guys, we just changed the name of the template. So make sure to do that. So your portfolio website does not have a random URL. And once you're done, simply click on publish. This of course can take a few seconds. Canva will need to make your site live and that's it. Once your website is done, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how it looks. I'm going to click on view website to show you the final product. And that's it. Now you have officially created your own portfolio website from scratch and with zero coding skills. If you found the video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video so others can see this information as well and use it. Don't forget to click the notification bell for more tutorials like this. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.